Welcome back guys, it's Colossal Crib and today we will be defeating the one and only Taurus Demon and we will be doing a bit of soul farming for him. So let's get straight into this one. This is the Taurus Demon. Now this tactic involves running across the bridge, climbing the ladder and then dropping down with R1 on top of his head. Now, first of all, climb the ladder to dispatch the two archers at the top. After that is done, slide back down the ladder and run. Run across this bridge part and you see the Taurus Demon jump down. Immediately run back, back up the ladder and immediately turn, jump off with R1 and repeat. It's that simple. There are other techniques to this one. Um, the other one is to stay right between his legs. As soon as he swings the hammer, you can roll underneath and attack from behind, which I've never done before. And I don't think I ever will. I like this technique. It's just nice and simple. You can go full loss every time. There is also a third technique, which is slightly dodgy, but you can get him to fall off by himself. It's a very risky uh, move. What you gotta do is stay right on the edge where the broken wall is and he will come down with his axe and sometimes then he will slip off to kill himself for an easy win. Now you can try that if you wanted to. I advise against it. Now that is it for the Taurus Demon. Next we will be going to do some soul farming. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this. But I am a warrior of the sun. 
spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> So this is it then, the soul farming technique. Once you come to the bridge, you'll see a big red dragon thing. It's called a wearing or something like that, or dragon knight, something like that. Anyway, what you gotta do, stick to the right hand side and run for your life down these steps. Do not forget to knock down the ladder. Once you do that, climb down, save at the bonfire. And then what we do then, is run back up to where the skeletons were, run out, run back in and down the stairs. Repeat this process as many times as you want for soul farming. Tip number one. There's other soul farming um, places to be. This is the very first one which you can get quite a good amount of souls. Which we level up early on in the game, so we just keep on doing this for as long as you like, and then we'll go back to the game. Thanks for watching, guys. Ta da for now!